Today, you're going to practice a pretty simple and yet powerful tool. You're going to choose a template that you would like to cut out through the glow cords and then go ahead and assemble it. I'd recommend for you to watch this brief video in its entirety and think about all the possible projects this machine could allow you to do and all the different materials you could possibly use. And then go ahead, choose a template, and either try to complete the project from memory or follow along this instructional video once again. So let's go to templatemaker.nl. And this is one of the many sites that offer a variety of different templates you can choose from. You will find some other sites listed on your worksheet. However, they're not the only open source websites for making templates. So please feel free to surf the web in search of other project opportunities. And so here are all the different types of projects. And as you can see, there's two different types of lines in each of these templates. The dotted line represents where you will want to fold the piece of paper in order to construct your solid. And then the uniform or solid line represents where the glow cords will actually make a cut. So we will go ahead and select the milk carton project. We can either choose to select the dimensions onto this website or just download the project and resize it into the Glowport software. So we can just go and hit create and a PDF will be selected. Resizing the project in the template maker website uh, is more important when you're doing a project that consists of a variety of different sheets of paper. Uh, which you need to resize correctly. But in this case, since we're using just one sheet of paper, that is not important. So I went ahead and downloaded it and it's right here. And now we can log on to blowport.com and here are the username and you will find the password onto your worksheet. Click ahead and sign in. And you can choose to either create a new project by just tapping create and selecting a file or even just dragging the project into the library. As you can see, once we've imported our document, we have this pop-up notification that is telling us that all the dotted lines have been transformed into solid lines. Fortunately, there's nothing to worry about as the software separates these two types of lines into different layers, which appear onto the left of your screen. And so we can go ahead and delete this pop-up notification and then resize the document to however big we will like. And now this is a perfect time to go ahead, insert the piece of paper into the machine, uh, turn the machine on, and never forget to turn the vent on. So after you've inserted the piece of paper into the glow forge, it should appear onto your screen right here. One thing uh, you should always remember to do is to select the thickness of your material by using a caliper to do so, inserting it into the machine. There's a list of different materials that the machine already knows, but if not, you can go ahead and just click uncertified material, insert your own thickness. In this case, the thickness is 0.012. So now we can go ahead and select the different um, speed and power for each uh, layer. So I already created different types of uh, settings that you can just go ahead and click if you want to insert them. And in particular, I found that for cutting this type of paper, 400 uh, of speed and 55 of power worked really well to get a nice clean cut. However, this will not be for each of your projects. 
So I do recommend you going and always testing it out before doing the final print. So these are the settings for the outlines. And then for the interior lines, uh, which you will want to fold, we will do a score cut. Uh, and I also did a pre-made setting. And so you can just go ahead once again and click it. And you can notice that the speed here is higher and the power is lower. And then once again, these are always the, the second layer of interior cuts. And you can select paper cut. And then the final uh, layer is this portion over here, which is just the name of the project. So we can just go ahead and, and ignore it since we're not gonna cut it. So if we go ahead now and select print, this print is about one minute long. However, you can also choose to add text, uh, different types of shapes as decoration, and also import your own artwork by either uploading it or tracing it, or using one of these graphics. I already created one of my graphics, and so I will go ahead and upload it. And so here it will import the graphic, which we can resize. One important thing to note is that when you're importing your own graphic, it does not allow you to cut and score it. The only option for you is to engrave, which is a pretty lengthy printing feature. Go ahead and set engrave, and I already have the parameters set for you. If you want a really light engraving onto your final project, you can go ahead and set this or play with the different parameters once again. And another thing to consider is how big the graphic is will determine how long it will print. So when you're engraving something, I would say go smaller rather than bigger uh, if you're just experimenting and don't want to waste too much time. So now the final project is complete. We can go ahead and click ready and print. This print will take 10 minutes and 16 seconds. Uh, and the push the button on the glow port that has already started lighting up. And so once you hit that button, your print will start. And in about 10 minutes, you will have your project.